We are here, we are here, we are here. On this amazing day. Okay everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis. And we are marking up EUR, GBP. We are in the monthly time frame. Price action, last cam to right hand side, is a bearish red candle. We do have price action overall, higher highs. Price action overall, lower lows. Second level highs. And third level highs. So let's zoom in the price and see what's going on. So price action on the monthly time frame is a bearish red candy working its way down, like from a push up to the top with the long wick that lost momentum, including the price action candle, second to last candle, lost momentum, coming back down for a retest. Or maybe a reversal. Price is currently sitting at 0 0.85777. So if price works his way down further, price can tag that midpoint near the numbers of 0 0.84883. And if price breaks that level, we can see that, <clears throat> if price goes up, we can see that price would tag this between the second the last candle in the market body, which would be a numbers of 0 0.86998. And we can see price action is in that midpoint of that area. So if price work is way down, it's coming from multiple pushes to that top. So when we draw back, we see about one, two, three, four, and a retest. So it's about four or five pushes to that top the market retest and it could be coming down from an area if the market works way up from that momentum it's coming from that pattern from that support it can stop at the midpoint where price is currently at it has not broken a second last candy wick yet so it's stopping in, in that middle range so if you look if you look at price action low area we do have a pattern of a first second third fourth retest a market pushed up once, retest, and then market could push for that second time, retesting that midpoint of that area. Or that market can also consolidate within the price action current candle and a second last candle, um, long doji. Walking down to the weekly time frame, price action, the weekly time frame, to define it as a bearish red candle. So market is still in that midpoint tagging that area. So if price is coming up from a pattern. It's coming up from multiple patterns. So we have a double first, a second, third, fourth. So that's a break overall retest that that market pushed up, which created another W. Mark is retesting the previous side. And if it's respected at the midpoint and a bullish green candle pulls up, Mark is working his way up for the next area. If not, we can see that the market can engulf and we'll be looking for a double top in that area or a break and retest for that market to work its way down to the next uh, line of price. <clears throat> and if the market work its way down from that area, it's coming from a pattern. So it's out of the patterns in this area. We have a single top. As we walk down the time frame, it's probably read as a double top, but on the weekly time frames right now, it's reading as a single top, first, second, third, fourth, uh, double top, incline, retest one. So it's a single top and the market work is way down for a trend direction, breaking retest, breaking retest. But as we walk down, it's probably gonna identify a double top and two pushes. Walking our way down to the daily time frame. <clears throat> price action on the daily time frame green as a bearish red candle. So we're still looking for a price to break this area to retest to work its way down further unless it's respected at the support line and then work market work its way up for that W formation for that first, second, third, receive an engulfment towards that price action, market creating that W formation. Or that market can consolidate sideways, working our way to the four hour time frame. So on the four hour time frame, we can see that price action 
is on our midpoint line. Also price action is a bullish green candle, doji. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna range that area. So when we walk down the time frame, we can see looking, we looking for the breakout. So we're looking for the breakout to have price action candle. So it's a little bit above the midpoint of that resistance line and a little bit below that um, resistance side would be the opposite would be support. So we're looking for that market to um, consolidate as it currently doing side by side with the second last tent candle towards a low and we look for the breakout to the top side or breakout to the downside headed down to three hour time frame price action reading the same thing uh, bullish green doji second last candle is a doji as well but a push up to the top so a second last candle came back to retest that third to last candle working our way to a two hour time frame let's see what we see so we have that third last candle pushed into the zone and second last candle and price action has worked its way sideways walking down to the one hour so the one hour time frame it's some type of patterns trying to form so if that mark is respected for that incline we'll see that first second third fourth so he has w formation already price action retest if this follows up with a bullish green candle we'll identify that it may look like a head and shoulders pattern but overall double bottom and retest and that mark is working its way up headed down to the 45 now if that market pushes down or is identifying that that market broke, came back to retest twice and it's pushing down. So that pattern that's retesting twice is identifying the double top. We can see it because we have the break, we have the retest. So we have that first, second, third, get the engulfment to the price action, excuse me, get the engulfment to the second last candle. Market's working its way down. Price action body side by side with the second last candle body. Price action wick is um, pushed down drastically compared to the second last candle wick, but that price action wick can be identifying as a retest. So we have to wait for that next candle to form. So it could be as be identifying for that retest to that um, third to last candle or fourth to last candle for that market to push up. Headed down to the 15 minute time frame, still identifying that break and retest. So you can see that W clear first, second, third, fourth retest, and this market has worked its way sideways. Second candle, second last candle came back to retouch price action, just um, consolidated. Price action, five minute time frame. Now we are starting to see that um, doji. So price action, huge doji sitting on that uh, five minute time frame. So we're looking for something to engulf this doji to the top side or to the bottom. So if it breaks up, we'll see that first, second, third, and it creates that W formation. And if it pushes down, we'll see that the mark is identifying uh, the break, the retest, and the push. Headed down to the one minute time frame. Price action on the one minute time frame is a bearish red candle, very small. Second last candle push down to the um, bottom, and the fourth last candle pushed up to the top. So, for this the market to work in its way in that direction to see it breaks out, you're looking for the market to break above this area, break below these wicks to really close out to show that market's going to work its way up for a break and retest. Anything within this area will be consolidation. <clears throat> okay, guys, very important information. Please study and review Forex Pattern Cheat Sheet, Breakout and Retest Strategy. Click on Images. Okay, guys, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis. Thank you for watching and thank you for your attention. E-U-R. GBP.